A couple months ago, a city councilor in Toronto released, you know, a cute flyer about how to have sex during COVID times. It mentions sexting or chat rooms instead of using Tinder and Grindr. Limit face-to-face -face contact by using barriers like glory holes. Now think about that fact for just a second. That there's somewhere out there a graphic designer probably getting paid around $100,000 of taxpayer money to make a hand going through a hole. You can't make this up. In July, the province of British Columbia actually agreed. They suggested glory holes, you know, dental dams, other amazing advice like wash your body with soap and water before and after sex. Now, if you need the government to tell you to literally do the most basic forms of hygiene, you've got a lot more problems than this. Now, the top dog came in, Teresa Tam. She's giving more sex advice from the place you always want it from, the federal government. Parents, siblings, no, 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 step aside now. The WHO will be giving you sexual guidelines from now on. Listen to them only. And this is pretty much why we have the website, firetam.com, I'm pretty sure. Stop kissing and consider wearing a mask when having sex to protect yourself from catching the coronavirus, it reads. Adding that going solo remains the lowest risk sexual option in a pandemic. Now what Teresa Tam doesn't mention is that while going solo will lower your COVID risk, it will heighten the risk you have for being pathetic and lonely. She also admits that while there's very little chance of catching coronavirus from bodily fluids, it's best not to risk it, especially if you're kissing. Don't do that. She actually said skip kissing and wear a mask during sex and monitor your partner for symptoms ahead of sexual activity because nothing's hotter and sexier than having a temperature gun in the bedroom. Right now Canada is hovering around below 6,000 active coronavirus cases, with seven provinces or territories having six or less cases. Saskatchewan has a bit more with just 30. Now, cases were hovering around 30,000 in July until it was discovered that 25,000 or so cases in Quebec were being improperly recorded, and they were quickly taken off the books. Overnight, Canada went from panic mode to well, actually, we're still in panic mode for some reason, it seems like. So were case numbers ever really that high, or did everyone just start wearing masks and temperature guns to bed? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go to firetam.com if you think her advice is bad.